guys so i just don't know how to start this video that video oh cherry she's just <laughs> oh, everything is going so bad cherry please stop playing okay so my cat is just playing with my phone okay so i'll just start that video by saying that i will speak in english uh, i'm sorry if it's not Good for everyone but like I can't please everyone uh, I just prefer talking in English because I feel like French people understand English but the opposite is not really a thing so it's just English people rarely speak French so it's just it's just more convenient for everyone and no I won't do subtitles not because I don't want to but just because it's already super long for me to do a video and I don't really have time it would be just uh, like way too much to do subtitles it would be like even longer than just doing the videos so no i won't do subtitles but like i'm just sorry i can't oh my gosh where to start it's like such a long story um so i lied to you guys a lot uh well i didn't lie like it's kind of a white lie and I wasn't even sure if I was lying or if it was real or whatever but people on my Instagram are always 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 asking me are you rich and blah 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 and I'm like because people know I'm traveling a lot but they're not sure since I'm not like oh my gosh Gucci, Louis Vuitton, ca caviar and like things like that because it's just not my type so anyway so every time people were asking me I was like no like guys I'm not rich I'm just you know doing my thing and i own a company so it's like i have money to travel and i just save my money a lot which is real um and oh racy waking up and yeah so everything i've been saying was real i was just not sure if i was rich or not rich like it's just not the type of topic or question i am asking myself and recently i was like i think i can say that I'm rich but it's just weird and when people were asking me I was like no guys please stop and like finally I realized because I didn't want to say it because I I feel like it's not awkward to say but it's just not something you say and that's what my parents were telling me so I was just like no like I'm not gonna say that on the internet it's just weird but then I was lying to you because of this and like I've always been really transparent about everything I was telling you and I want to still stay transparent and just be real um, so I was like okay it's kind of just it's fake to say that I'm not rich when I am like you cannot be uh, you know usually you're fake when you're saying that uh, for example I don't know like if I'm lying about something I don't have and I'm like I have it like for example oh if I say like oh my gosh I'm rich and finally it's just my parents money then I would be fake but like I'm I realized that I'm also fake by saying like no I'm not rich when I kind of am like it's just weird to say <laughs> so I don't know how to say it whatever so um, I just wanted to start that video by saying a really big like sorry it's just kind of weird because I've been lying to you guys since like i don't know when because i don't know when it starts or whatever it's just it's a tricky subject um so i'm sorry i love you guys and i'll stay transparent and anyway like it won't change anything about what i'm doing because i'm still the same person i'm just normal and i'm doing my things and you can still come see me anywhere and just like talk to me i'm still human and like no i don't like Louis Vuitton and caviar <laughs> it's not my thing i still like simple things like having my dogs and my cat and watching movies and things like that so i'm still a really normal person i'm still the same so i just hope it won't change anything about what you think about me and like my value is just the same uh it's just about uh the money i have in my bank account which is not something important and i don't even know why you guys are asking or anything but like I just don't want to lie to you um, but still like traveling and all I'm doing is still things uh, you can do even if you're not rich in your life or whatever because I don't want you to be like oh my gosh now that I know she's rich uh, I just can't I will be less motivated to do what she's doing because I cannot do it or whatever 
Uh, first of all, uh, you can become rich, like it's not, like if I made it, my parents were not rich. If I made it, it's because I worked really hard, but it's not necessarily your goal. It wasn't my goal to like have a lot of money and things. My goal was just to travel at first. At the first time it was just to travel. Um, and finally it just, it's just like this right now. Uh, yeah, so uh, this is still something you can do. And also like I started traveling a while ago because I was saving money and I think I'm, I'm not rich because like, uh, I'm not rich because like uh, I make a lot of money and blah, blah, blah. It's just because I'm always saving up. Like I always keep my money and like I'm not going like I don't drink alcohol so I don't go in bars and be like oh my gosh I pay for everyone like no matter how much money I have uh, for example when I travel I don't like wait, it's not really good I don't like um, spending money for nothing for example like I'm really good in a super cheap hotel room with like just a bed and like a dirty shower and things like I'm really good with it so every time I travel this is what I get as an hotel if you see me being like in a nice hotel it's just because I'm doing collaboration but I wouldn't pay for it um, so like it's just I, I save my money even when I travel and I it doesn't cost me a lot when I travel uh, let me like maybe I should do I will do a video about uh, traveling the cheapest way so just like all of the things I'm doing to save money when I travel and it really works out like I'm really good at it every people everyone is asking me like every all of my friends are asking me like how to save money when they travel and things so it's like kind of a, something I'm just good at I think because not because I'm good at it blah, 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 just because I've traveled a lot so I've learned a lot and I don't like spending money for nothing so this something okay so you wanted to know my story uh, my story is um, where to start so when I was young uh, no my parents were not rich this is something people say it's so easy to say like it's just because her parents are rich uh, yes okay like maybe you saw once like that my dad has an OD like okay yeah my dad has an OD like there's a lot of people having it and their kids are not necessarily having a company and things like this is not something uh, and my dad had this car a year ago because he started becoming he started having a little bit more money because he was working and I also decided that I wanted to give him a, a small part of my company just because I wasn't able to I wasn't able to handle everything anymore because I was doing everything alone at first and then one day I was like okay this is way too much like I can't handle it so like dad can you please help me and I'll give you like a part of my company and this is the moment when my dad started having a little bit of money and like people are like oh my gosh this is just because her parents were rich but no uh, <laughs> I was I started living in a small apartment with my parents and my three my three sisters well we I have three, three sisters but we were living the three of us so there was only two of my other sisters kind of complicated um, okay so now my parents are not rich let's just start by it because this is the thing people keep on saying and it just annoys me a lot so, uh, when I was young, uh, I'm talking about when I was like 12 or something, uh, I, my parents decided that they wanted to, uh, they wanted to learn to teach us uh, how to save money because I wanted a car when I was going to be 17, so like at 12 years old I was already thinking about my car when I was gonna be 17 and they wanted us to start working and know how to keep money so they bought an ice cream shop and yeah I started talk, uh, I started working at this ice cream shop when I was 12 um, I was working like 20 hours a week during summer but because during winter I was going to school and things and yeah, so it was a pretty good job because we had the tip plus uh, we were getting paid so it was the minimum salary but it was really good for a 12 years old person and all of my friends were like oh my gosh like Elizabeth Hugh is rich because she has money but it's just because 12 years old kids usually just don't work but I liked it a lot like my parents were not forcing me or anything so yeah so I was working I was the only one who was having money but at the same time, my parents were not paying for my clothes anymore. Uh, they were not giving me money for food at school. So if I was 
mm -hmm. I had like my mom was making me a sandwich like obviously I was 12 but if I forget to bring my lunch uh, then I have to pay for my thing um, for my clothes and things um, so like I wasn't like you know and before this uh, I, my parents were not uh, buying me clothes. I was getting the ones from my older sister that was not fitting her anymore So I never really had like new things if we can say like I had some obviously But not as much as for example my older sister and I'm not saying that's bad My parents didn't have a lot of money like my mom was the type when we were going to the restaurant like a really rare things um, She was like, oh you need to take water and the cheapest plate and things like that. So it's not it's not that they were bad parents, they had three kids to take care of and they didn't have a lot of money and so I think you guys can understand because probably a lot of you are in this situation because it is kind of a normal situation if there's, if there's a lot of kids at home. Um, so yeah, so I started working and saving my money up. The first summer I spent it all, during the summer I was getting paid and then I spent it and then I learned because when summer was over uh, I realized that I didn't have money anymore for winter so I, I had like <laughs> you know during summer you don't buy pants so like I had you know the elephant pants I don't know if it's the way you call it in English but it's like the super big pants and it was getting fashion to have like the skinny ones and I still had those ones uh, that were way too small for me and my parents were like, oh, I hope you, you're learning from this because you had money but you spent it on things you didn't need and now you need something and you just don't have money anymore So and you were working. So I was like, yeah. And that summer I was like, okay, next summer I'm not gonna do this, I'm gonna save money and, and be more responsible. And this is what I did. Um, Finally, when I was 17 years old, I finally bought my Honda Civic 2006. Uh, 2006, that car had 10 years and it's a Honda Civic. Like, I don't know if you know what it is, but it's not like a super cool car, but it was okay for me. Like, it's the thing I bought. Um, and uh, yeah, also when I was working, uh, I couldn't work during winter, not because I, I couldn't, but uh, People were not engaging me like I I'm not really uh, how can I say it like when I was doing an interview for a job I was never taken and it was super annoying so I started you know I don't know if you had it in other countries but in Quebec we have this it's the black market on Facebook it's like uh, you just uh, sell your old things uh, so I started buying cell phones like the iPhones I remember at that moment it was like iPhone 4 <laughs> super cool uh, I started buying it uh, from people that were selling it at a really low price and then I was selling it at the actual price that other people were selling it so for example I was buying it like hundred fifty dollars from the money I made from the ice cream shop during summer I was buying it a hundred fifty dollars and then like the next day I was selling it for fifty more dollars so I was making fifty dollars and it was the way I was I just I don't know how I figured that out because I was kind of young but like I did I didn't even have a car or anything um, I don't even know, I was not telling my parents because I didn't want them to be mad or something but finally they find out and they were like no, there's nothing in Lake Wall or bad you're buying a price you're buying something at a price that someone wants to sell it and you're selling it to someone who wants to pay another price like if you're not telling them it's not a bad thing it's just um, it's just business and what it is like and I'm happy you you understand what is business because this is everything you're wearing right now this is what they're doing it's not like a bad thing or whatever um so my parents were like were impressed and happy that you like you figured that out by yourself so young so like I continued doing this and then uh finally I was selling bikinis for another company um on Facebook it was super random because I was kind of well known on Facebook uh, it's and it, I was not well known for like a really good reason uh, someone in invented a bad rumor about me that was completely false and I was nobody before 
and people at my school started talking about it and they were like insulting me at school and blah 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 and finally everyone found out that it was just not true and it was just stupid so I kind of uh, had fame from it because people now were knowing who is Elizabeth Liu like the super random girl not talking to anyone like at high school I was not social at all um, for example, when there, I've always been a work colleague, just like my father. My father is like this. And um, at school, for example, people from high school will remember me for this. Um, every time there was a teamwork, I was doing the work. And then when I was done, I was asking the teacher, do you have anything else to do? If not, then I was going in the team uh, that we're not doing anything since we started like because i hated working with people that are not really working when i really want to learn because i love school uh, and then i was going to talk about my weekend and blah 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 with people so like and i, I was not super social so people would remember that from from me if there's anyone from high school here on um, watching that video you can write it in the comment like i'm not lying or anything i was just i don't know i, I really love working since i'm young and yeah, so finally I was selling bikinis from another bikini company and I was known on Facebook for the girl selling bikinis. And then I asked myself like, I really love bikinis, I want to travel and this is not good enough to make money because I, I was buying, I had like, um, I had like a discount from the company just because I was buying a lot at the same time and then selling them. Just like if I was a store, but it was like on Facebook, a bit random. So it was not a big discount, so and I couldn't sell it more than the actual price. So I was making like ten dollars a bikini, and this is this is okay because I couldn't find another job. But whatever. And during summer, all of this time from when I was twelve to when I was eighteen, I've been working to the ice cream shop. Um, and yeah, so yeah, one day, well, I'm not gonna talk about it. whatever. <laughs> and. Yeah, so where to go? Uh, so one day I was like, okay, why not just doing my own bikinis so I can make a little bit more money because I'm gonna pay it less and I'm gonna be able to sell it like at kind of the same price or like the price I want. Um, so I started contacting a bunch of people, uh, some people in Canada and some people in China, just because everyone was talking about like project made in China. So I figured that it was like a good thing to just see if it was good prices in China or whatever. And finally the prices in China and in Canada were kind of the same. Um, when I checked for like what I wanted, it was, I want, I really wanted neoprene. Um, and the prices were the same so i was like okay i'm gonna make it in canada like it's so much better and finally uh when i got it in canada it was, like they were not used to work with neoprene yet so the bikinis were not as a good quality as they were in china i know it's kind of weird but like people are judging china like china means cheap but this is so not true and i'm not saying that it was cheap in canada they were just not used to sew with neoprene so the sews were not really good um also they were so much slower than what they were doing in china so i decided i was gonna do it in china um the production price was lower in china than canada but just because of the super high price of the shipping and the taxes from china it was the same but finally i had to go with china because it was so much faster than what it was in canada and the quality was so better because they were they've been working with that material for so long and like it was such a great quality when i received the product i went to see my father and I was like okay so I didn't tell you because I didn't ask before but like I just asked it for a sample to like some people and I paid for it and like look how cool this is I would like to start a bikini company and my dad was like I was 17 at that moment my dad was like really not really sure um yeah and at first i wanted to do it myself and finally realized it was way too long to do and made bikinis and i was not that good and whatever this is a long story and like the story is gonna be really long so i have to cut some things um so yeah so my dad was just not sure and then finally he saw how the product was cool and he was like are you sure you're the one who designed it and things and i was like yeah i designed it and like it's 
the quality is really good so my father was like oh it might be maybe a little bit better like bigger than what you think so like let me just check something and come back to you so I was like okay like no problem I don't know and uh, finally I was ready to make my first order um, and I was gonna spend all of my money just to get like a lot of bikinis because there was like a minimum uh, to order I was gonna take all of my money just to to have those bikinis and be able to sell it and then use the money to buy more bikinis and then sell it and blah 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 always like go up um, when I finally sent the order to my supplier uh, my dad came and he was like oh like I, I would feel better if you were doing it in not a legal way not that it was illegal because when you you sell uh, under $35,000 uh, in Canada you don't have to uh, to say it like the government or whatever um, but just because he didn't want someone to copy my idea or like copy my name or something and he wanted to make sure that we don't get known for uh, a name and then the name was not gonna be accepted later when it was gonna be the time when the company was gonna be better, bigger and my father was really believing in me because he was seeing how I was working really hard on it and I was I already started the, the Instagram like a long time before and things because I knew I wanted a company and finally my father was like I'm gonna help you um, with all of the legal thing we're gonna find a lawyer for this and I'm gonna pay for it since it's not something you need but I just want you to have it because I don't want you to get into trouble so people who are like um, you you have like your company just because your parents were rich uh not really my father put his economy in into uh making my company legal but it's not legal like it's just complicated to explain because there's a difference be between like being registered and being incorporate uh i don't know if it's the word in english or whatever and i'm not gonna explain that right now just because it's like I was learning this at school at the same time so I knew what he was talking about but because I was also at college um, in administrations um, so yeah we decided to do it um, this way uh, we decided to incorporate the company in Canada United States and China just because the product was was made there and he was coming with me to meet the lawyer um, uh, just to make sure like they were not Just to make sure they were taking me seriously since I'm super young I, I turned 18 at that moment since I was like super young so they he just wanted to be there to hear everything um, and so um, So like for if you want to start a company and you don't have your father's money because that's what people are saying uh, about me uh, Yes, you can do it. You don't need your father's money because I could haven't done this and my company would still be like what it is because it's not about marketing like it didn't make me it didn't make my company bigger it was just in case it is bigger you're gonna be protected but you can do it later like you can start your company and then just do these things later but my father is really the type whose security is so important so and he to also told me uh, I I will give you that money I want you to give it back to me and I want you to finish university uh, just in exchange so I was like yeah that's a good thing because anyway I want to finish university and like education is so important in my family for everyone oh it's tizzy uh, so it's yeah it's like really important for everyone and even for me so I was like yeah like no problem um, and finally so the process was so long and my father didn't want me to ask for the uh, for the bikinis before this was done so I was waiting and waiting it was supposed to be out in November 2015 and finally it was out in uh, in April the next year 2016 so we started to sell in April 2000 like at the end of April 2016 um, and it was so good like um, I ordered my first bikinis and I was doing promotion uh, 
on my Instagram and I already have like a good following it was not that like impressive but it was a good following and I was with my friend Claudia who also had a good following and we were both doing pictures with the Hoakas and so yeah so it was like super good um, the first day we sold out everything so I made my next order with the money I had like I didn't spend any money I was not like okay so I have money now I'm gonna go to the restaurant and blah 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 no I kept it like it's really important when you start a company um, so I invested the all the money I got to buy more bikinis and then the next weekend I wanted to buy more but I couldn't because I couldn't I didn't have more money since like you know like you have the money you have and I wanted more just because it sold out in one day and finally it sold out again and again and finally I I just went to a step when I had enough money to buy enough bikini for the stock I needed so this is what happened and I was coming out with the, a new color every time uh, I knew it was on social media I think I think for the strategy for the strategy of the company I'm gonna talk about it on another video because Hoaka has a lot of strategy to get well known on Instagram and to also have the best product um, and it's gonna be a long video too so I'm gonna talk about it on another video um, I will make it as soon as I have time um, yeah that would be good and strategy doesn't mean manipulative or whatever like people often think about like oh if it's a strategy that thing that means you manipulate people like it's not this at all like a strategy like a strategy that I can tell you right now is uh, when I made the first sample it was not good and then I I've done like a bunch of samples and then it was just perfect and then I showed it to my father because I wanted the best quality ever and so a strategy is to have the best quality if you want to sell to a high price because it's it's not a super expensive bikinis because there's a lot of bikinis on Instagram that are a lot more expensive with a uh, uh, less better quality, but like um, the price really represent the quality um, so um, So yeah, so one of the strategy I can say is um, having the best quality product before selling and don't don't be shy like um, Don't be like okay. I want my product to come out at this date and and then you receive the samples and it's not good and you're like okay well I'm gonna make make it with it just because I don't have time to do another one no take your time before because when it's gonna be out it's gonna be out you know you can come kiss me oh. time to pee okay so so yeah where was I <laughs> yeah, for those strategy, Hoaka just make it's just doing so good right now, and it's just always growing up super super fast, and it's just something I'm I'm really happy about. And this is just not because of me. This is also because of you, because you guys are helping me a lot when I'm doing the giveaway. Like you guys think I'm the sweetest because I'm giving a bikini but it's also you are promoting my brand when you're reposting the picture and that makes makes it even more successful and this is something I'm really grateful about um, and and so yeah um like I've talked a lot about how grateful I have I am uh, of everything is happening in my life and I'm grateful that you guys are helping me out a lot with this and I would be really happy to help out uh, someone else um, if you guys what I can say is uh, guys it's you can start from nowhere get just a little bit of money I was working 40 hours a week yeah so the when I was working I'm, I'm so lost in my stories but like when I was working at the um, ice cream shop uh, the two first years because I was really young I was working 20 hours a week but after I was working 40 hours or more every week of my summer and I was not spending money I was uh, saving it um, what I can say is um, guys if you want to start a company you don't need a lot of money you just need the money 
for uh, to buy your product um, to make sure you have like a stock when you start selling it it has to be a small stock just to make sure uh, because you know you can be wrong uh, you can start selling something and then realize people just don't like it they don't buy it um, so make sure you buy um, not too much of it um, and you have to invest your own money but it's not my own money uh, I invested 7k when I started um, it was all money I saved up from working um, so what I have to say is you don't absolutely need someone else. Um, you can make it yourself and then make it grow by yourself and you don't have to use anyone um, to make it work. Uh, you can make it work and you can also start a brand as a team. You know if you're saving money up uh, to start your brand and for example if you need 7k just like me, uh, you can be a team of three persons and just have like all a part of it like for example if someone is working more or whatever they can have like 5k the other one 1k and 1k and then you do a deal that someone has more part in the company or whatever like it's just something it's just all i want to say in this it's uh first of all it's i don't have my company because of my parents money like it has there's no point on saying this and Second, uh, when people are saying this, yes, it hurts me because it's not true, but it's, al it's also bad because I j I'm just trying to be a motivation for a young entrepreneur that wants to start. And then people are saying this and the entrepreneur are like, okay, well, I'm not gonna do it because my parents are not rich. But like, that's not a thing. You don't think um, you can't do it. Everyone, every single person can do it. Okay, this is what I want to start by saying, um, and and so it just save your money, work a lot for it. Like if you, what was the good combination is that I was working at the ice cream shop, and when I was not working, I didn't have time to spend my money because I was working on Hoaka. So like I was just not spending money, and I had no friends anyway. <laughs> um, and so I think it's pretty complete. Um, it completes what I wanted to say. Uh, maybe I'm forgetting something, but in the other video, I will talk about the strategy of Hoaka, and I just hope it's gonna help you guys to to like in your own brand. Um, it's more gonna be like social media uh, strategy uh, about how Hoaka got so big, but. Uh, if you want to start a company and base your marketing on social media, then you should watch my next video about it. And, and so all I wanted to say is that it is possible and like if it, the start of the video was to say first because I want first because I wanted to be honest with you since I feel like I haven't been on Instagram lately and also because like I'm not gonna hide it, I'm gonna show it, but show it like in a normal way, just the way I'm doing it. Like I'm not gonna be like, look at my Gucci! I don't have any Gucci. Like I'm not gonna be like this, because this is simply not me. I wish I had a Gucci, it's the only like expensive brand I love. But like I, I won't have a Louis Vuitton for sure. So like I won't be like, look at my Louis Vuitton, like motivation. Like no, this is not what I'm trying to do. But I just bought a new car and I didn't want to show it on Instagram because I was like, people are gonna judge me and whatever and finally I I just realized that it was more fake to not show something just because I don't want people to judge me so I want to be true and also I feel like it can just be a motivation for you to start your company now that you know that no my parents are not rich <laughs> it's not a thing and um, I think I repeated that like so many times in the video just to make sure you guys understand but um, but yeah so this is what I'm I was trying to say uh, just see my pictures at as a motivation and don't be like jealous or anything there's nothing to be jealous about because you can do it you can work for it and you have to and you have to if if this is the life you want what i have to say is that um if you want to be an entrepreneur be ready to work a lot and work 24 hours every single day um there's no 
there's this is just what I have to say like be ready this is not for everyone uh, for example the girls at Hoaka uh, they know exactly what I'm doing since I'm with them every day like you know the Hoaka team but they're all like I don't know how you're doing this since it's like for example, um, when you when you don't own your own company, you just go to work and you, when you're done, you're done. Like, I mean, you have your 40, for example, 40 hours a week and then it's just done. But uh, for me, it's not a 40 hours a week. It's like, a, <laughs> like I have to wake up during the night to post on Hoaka because like it's an international company and, and so I have to be always there. Um, always present on social media so it's just and it's just not about social media there's a lot of things a lot of things that you don't even know about around it and and so always think about new ideas and things and and so just be ready and make sure this is the life you want make sure I'm a work colleague I love working I've always loved it uh, so yes this is the life I want but this is not for everyone a lot of people would be it would be too much stress for them to have to always think always work like even when they're home if there's a problem they have to leave at like 1 a.m. and whatever so it's just I just hope you guys understand that this is not made for everyone but if you feel like it's really made for you then just go nothing should stop you because there's nothing um, to stop you I mean you can start from nowhere and become like something super big so i hope you guys liked my video and if you want to see the next video just make sure you subscribe uh people were waiting for that video for so long and i'm happy i've done it today uh this is not a good quality video or anything but like i feel like you guys just wanted to know my story a little bit better where where i started how i started my company and like i feel like now this is uh something you know and i hope you guys are happy about it and thank you for watching Love you. <laughs>